Well, it's unfortunate that we don't have a lot of meals right now. It's unfortunate we don't have a hospital bed right now. So let's set this as medical. Oh, great. That's not a, that mortar didn't set things on fire either, did it? So let's go ahead. We need to, at some point, reinstall a bed, at least for now. We'll put one in here. Okay, so how many did we kill? We injured a few people. So I guess if we just need to reassess and see, can we keep the pressure going? Like how far can you hit with your sniper rifle? Pretty far. Vladimir's not hurt, Samantha is hurt. So can we have you switch weapons real quick? And Samantha. Alright, so we got some people hurt. We got two potential snipers though. So let's get you guys over here. Alright, so Samantha, how are you doing? Inferno cannon and bleeding. And you're bleeding quite a bit. 121% per day. So you need you need treatment. You need to rescue Yuma's. So let's see here. Vlad, how far can you fire with the sniper rifle? Far enough for my purposes. So can we actually snipe a guy? Pretty sure you're in cover. Okay, Vlad's exposed. So good, come on faster. Okay, is he actually trying to run? Oh wow, naked, cold, wounded, lax bionic body part. Shot off his right arm. Well, that's one way to uh, avoid getting shivved, right? No. We want you to fire. Sass, we want you to fire. Who's our biggest uh, operating turret? Survival rifle. Alright. Okay, so we gotta watch out for uh, where these where these are all going. Okay, so these are, I don't know what kind of shells these are, but they're not actually setting things on fire. All right. Still though, that's gonna get pretty damn annoying. Do we have anybody who can be a doctor? Samantha's hurting. Our healer's incapacitated, Yuma's is incapacitated. Sass is a good doctor. But he's busy firing things. Belisar, you have a skill of two. Congratulations, you are now a doctor. All right, so there's Clumsy Mind eating something. Let's see what's going on down here. We got two sets of survival rifle shots. Fire it, roll one for both of you. I said, all I want to do is just get you guys. Okay, so our healer is now alive. Sass is successfully staying behind cover. How's Roland doing? Not terrible.
keeps hitting the wall, so let's just go ahead and do it. So if we can just kill one or two more people, hopefully we can uh, get to the next step here. So Sass, how are you doing? Torso, gunshot wound, all right. Oh Jesus. Let's not have you die now. Yeah, we need the rest of our people here, I feel like. Okay, Maskinen is just pacifistly hauling. Do you not do medical work? No, you're skill of one, so you can't even do that. Whew. All right, this is definitely interesting, especially since we have a few traps that did not get rearmed. Said we just need one more person, but I don't really want to push it here, so let's go ahead and put you there. Vlad, put you over here. You guys are having a nice friendly chat now. Okay, they got an actual machine gun on us now? That's not good. How many guys are you here? Oaf stressed, Roland stressed. We got some good stuff over here. Hmm. Maybe I can just kind of loop Sass around to over here and see if I can get a good angle on somebody. So right now Vlad is definitely in the line of fire and that's not great. Yeah, you guys are coming over here so they're they might be wise to what's going on. But Vlad's not hurt. I do think we're almost at time, but this is an interesting nut to crack, that's for sure. So we'll see. I just need to stay over here. Uh, where's that mortar going? Nowhere. Oh good, we actually got one down. That is, that is so good. With the shell loaded, so now they're running. Fire at Roland. Is it time for us to fall back? Because that's one mortar that's just gone. Another guy that's dead. Sass, so I'm going to send you back here a little bit. We need to see if this guy's doing Pickett's Charge with a sniper rifle. That's not good. So I guess I could have put Sass over here. What's your health like? Torso, left kidney, whole body, blood loss, trivial. Just need you to fire at the artist now. Because you are standing like right out in the open right now, so... So they're trying to eat. Sass is in trouble. Let's get you back. So see, this is our home territory. We've got two snipers. I think really if we just take out one more person, we could just hit. And it's not like Vladimir. Okay, Vladimir is a terrible shot. Sass is also a terrible shot. But somebody just got headshot, so that's all right. Okay, Vlad's hurting now. Small assault rifle gunshot. I don't think this is going to count as relevant cover, so poor mood. Vlad's in a poor mood. I bet he is. All right. Your lover died. 
My lover died. I'm so alone. Well, yeah, so tired. Just want to lay down and rest for a few minutes. All right, you know what, guys? We'll give you all a break. Except for Sass is going to need to do some uh, medical work for sure. So let's see here. Clumsy Mind, have you gotten treatments? That's Belisar. That's our power getting cut. So yeah, we gotta take care of you guys soon. So treat you, Maz. Vladimir sleeping, Belisar. Belisar is a doctor today. You got a little bit of medicine here. So big hope is that we can just go ahead and push these people out. But I think that's enough for this episode. This is Asher. We're going to see if we can finish breaking the siege here in the next time. And if we can, great. If not, well, we've just lost uh, some power connection, but at least they haven't gone for our stuff. The big thing is that I'm really hoping they just decide to charge us. So these aren't super grown. And we do have plenty of food, so I'm just going to flick this off. We need, we need this going more than anything. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again soon. I was wondering when the next attack would come, and double mortars is definitely double the fun, especially when I can't just fire my mortars right back at them, which is a little unfortunate. But, you know, we'll be even more prepared for the next siege because we'll have their artillery shells. I seriously thought we'd picked up the shells that were over here. I seriously thought we did. If we did, I'm not sure where they went. Oh, well. Hey everybody, Asher here, back with some more RimWorld, where the last episode went on a little longer than I meant to. I actually recorded a little bit into this one, so we're a little bit in the middle of uh, this next episode. It's the middle of a cold snap. Everybody on this side is just a little bit uh, hurting, whether it's asthma or something else. Uh, permanent gunshot injury, that's very nice. Uh, but yeah, I think we're close to breaking the siege. We've just got to get our people out here to actually get treated and get fed. So we are missing some guns right now because we had a few people get knocked unconscious. But we're close to being able to get back in here. Like so far, they've picked a pretty well defended spot. We've got some poor moods here. Sass and Vladimir. What do you need? It's very crowded, I know, Sass. You're hungry, you're very tired. Fortunately, they have terrible aim right now. So that's a plus. Sass is about to break. Vlad is about to break. Vlad's going to be pissed for a very long time, unfortunately. Friend died, slept in the cold, a little bit of cane. Oh, good. They're actually on their way to attack. I was wondering when that was going to happen. I guess they realized that uh, their plan was not the best one. So let's go ahead. I know, Clumsy Mind, you've been shot and you're not too happy about it. Samantha, how's your health? You've been tended to. You just need to recover. Let's put you over here. Vladimir, I'm going to give you a break. Maskinen, you can't do anything. Yuma's very crowded, moderate amount of pain. How's your health? Artery blockage, which sucks. Actually got good treatment for your neck. So that makes a difference. Do we have a gun you can reach in time? I don't think so. So let's see here. Is Sass asleep? Sass is asleep. Is Vladimir asleep? Vladimir's asleep. All right, these guys will probably run by the time they get to us. So Samantha's coming. Belisar is going to be repairing here. But yeah, here comes everybody. They have to go through our bear trap death trap. They're fortunately ignoring our geothermal generator. So I guess they're just going for a direct assault here. Belisar's mid-treatment right now. 
Okay, one dead, two dead, and they're fleeing. Anybody we can shoot at on the way out. Clumsy mind, I'm not sure what you're thinking. Samantha, let's go over here. All right, so they're all trying to run. They might just succeed too. And I think everybody over here is dead, so we definitely need to deconstruct this. We definitely need to steal all their meals. Simple meal as well. Unforbid. Strip. Strip. Just rice in hand. Yeah, we definitely need people to get back to cooking. That's for sure. Because right now we are on all we're on raw food. So we got enough artillery shells to last ourselves for a while. We got a lot of steel as well. So overall, not bad since we survived. I guess we showed them, right? So big things we need to do now. Power. Reconnect, please. And power over here. Let's actually connect, please. And we'll get that connected through and through in just a little bit. So I guess they've run off the map. That's all right. So who's our cook? Umaz is still unconscious. Disturb sleep times four. Bite scar. Yeah, whoever our cook is, we're just gonna set everybody to cooking because we need to we need to make food here. So we have a solar flare begun, intense radiation affecting all electrical devices. So it looks like we are gonna lose some stuff anyway. Well that'll give us more some more good stuff here. So Yuma's can you not move? Did you like lose something? Right leg shot off. Well shit. Congratulations, you Maz. You get a peg leg for a right leg. Isn't that fun? I was wondering why he couldn't move. So before it was clumsy mind, and now it's this. Terrible mood, sass and Vladimir. What else do you guys need? Your lover died. You're urgently hungry. Sass is urgently hungry, so once you once you eat, you'll be okay. We are still getting solar power, at least. We still have colonists that need treatment. So, Vladimir, who's going to be our best doctor for this? Probably Belisar, who's asleep and stressed. Is anybody awake right now? You're asleep. All right, Belisar, since you're not about to break, prioritize treating and feeding him. Cool. Well, Clumsy Mind's a doctor too, so maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done that another way. But we've got a bunch of raw food right now. We actually need more wood. Maybe we can just swap this out for an electric stove. Let's see. Oh no, Maskinen hit a trap and take damage from it. Is Maskinen dead? Yes! That's our second person to die to this. Damn it. It's like, this time it's not a, it's, this time it's not like pathing that's supposed to be a problem here. Damn, okay, well. Cold snaps over. We lost our pacifist hauler person, so let's go ahead and uh, let's make another sarcophagus here. We'll make it out of granite. We'll put it right here. So we're down a colonist, but not for the reason that we thought. So Maskin and you ran to us, you barely knew us, and you died not even from an invasion here. Clumsy mind. If we like all die from these, I'm gonna be so mad. 
Got another sniper rifle. It's like, are these things just too dangerous? Find out next time. So how did she actually die? A neck, fresh cut off neck. You're walking on a bear trap. Clumsy mind, hit a trap. Clumsy mind. Stab, stab, okay, well. At least you didn't die, but good lord, people. We are not hitting these traps before. I don't need you to rearm the trap. I need you to be a patient right now. So these aren't supposed to be killing us. Though that seems to be exactly what they're doing right now. Maybe I just forbid these little areas? I don't know. But that's the first deadfall trap that didn't kill us. We need some serious cleaning though. Like we've got blood everywhere right now. So that's really, that's really too bad. That's kind of a somber note to end this on too because we were just really starting with what I feel like was a pretty good comeback. And we just had taken out another really uh, aggressive group of people that came by and now we have uh, all this crap going on. So Belisar, you don't need to be the doctor anymore. Has Sass actually got a treatment yet? Yeah. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher, and we are... Uh, we've survived yet again, but at what cost? Right now, Yuma's... Yuma's lost his leg. Maskinen lost her head, or her neck. And we've still got plenty of things to do. So we have... We need a designated hauler. Like one person that's literally just going to haul stuff and that is your whole plan. I think we prioritize that. Your cooking's okay. But you have no passion for it. So we'll put it at two. And you're going to be our hauler for now. And that'll that'll do. So Vladimir still Vladimir's still mad. Sass still mad. Everything sucks in Bogmire, that's for sure. But we're going to call this uh, just about an episode. Like I said, I did have a little bit of a recording, not fail, but really lost track of time. Something, something, siege happens to make that happen. So this one may be a little shorter, but we do have spoils of victory, but at what cost? At what cost? That's it for now. Our uh, Magnificent Seven survive. We're still building more rooms, more apartments for more colonists that we can capture or bring into the fold one day. But for today, everyone who's busy rearming steel deadfall traps could actually just, I don't know. I'm going to get rid of that one because I, I have a feeling the AI is just going to have too much fun killing themselves on that one. But hey, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it with uh, more RimWorld. We're still making it. It's spring. It's actually just about growing season. So maybe, just maybe, we can start growing things outside, make things good, but 